Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber. This one says, uh, thanks for continuing to provide us with the excellent advice. I am starting to really see the benefits of implementing your advice in the game. I thought of another video topic for you. When and how is the best time to follow up with a girl after you hit it? I know this will depend on if... Uh, you are feeling the girl or not, but I have received different feedback from women on not calling them the day after versus texting them the day after. Uh, can you think of a general guideline we can follow to not seem too clingy or thirsty if we plan on sleeping with the girl again? I usually don't text or call them if I only wanted to hit it once. All right, so basically, when you smash you hit it you get it going with this chick right um the same rules sort of apply to contacting her so let's say you went out with a chick and let's say it's the first date and let's say you hit it that date right you would basically just you know wait a week and then call her back up again and be like yo you know what's good let's get together again Right. So the same thing applies for if you just went on a date and you didn't hit it, you would still, you know, wait a you know, few days or a week and then you set up another date and then you go see her. Right. So you basically do the same type of thing. You don't need to do anything different, uh, you know, when it comes to this. Right. You don't want to call and text her a lot more because now you're going to be looking like you're super thirsty. You understand? You're going to be looking like you're all needy and all this stuff, right? But see, the thing is, once you've already hit it, once you've already had sex with a chick, right? A lot of times it's easier to have sex with her again, right? But you just still have to play it cool you don't want to be calling her texting her and sweating her all that time because then what's going to happen is is that she'll probably back off because you're seeming too clingy and needy you feel what i'm saying so you just wait that week and hit her back up and then you have sex with her again right now you were saying that you know you usually don't call chicks back if you only wanted to hit it once and yeah that's what you should do if you if you only want to hit it that uh one time and that's all you wanted to do then you don't got to call her back Right. But if you do want to call her back and you want to hit it again, you want to see her again, you know, you just wait a few days or wait a week and then you holler back at her and then you make it happen again. All right. So that's pretty much it. You know, um, if you guys have any more questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership membership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com